What's up guys, this is Yasu. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasu's Fit Frag and today I'm going to talk about another perfume from the brand Fragrance World. Okay, now for those who do not know, Fragrance World is known to be tied up with Latafa brand. Some say it is tied up with Paris Corner brand. I'm not really sure which one is true because nothing comes up in the media or you cannot really Google it and find out exactly as to who owns Fragrance World. But more or less it's between these two brands that they usually compare because people from Dubai claim that Fragrance World is a sub-brand of Latafa. Some say it is a sub-brand of Paris Corner as well. So in case you are 100% sure of who it is tied up with, then comment down in the comment sections and let me know because if I was visiting Dubai, I would have definitely tried finding it out myself because I heard Fragrance World store in Dubai has Paris Corner perfumes as well. So it's Either one of the two, I'm not really sure, but all these three are UAE brands, so it shouldn't really matter as to who owns, because the blend is what matters. And the best part is this is also a budget-based brand. Similar pricing of Paris Corner, but slightly higher by 100 to 200. So let's talk about this particular perfume, and the name is Intense Wood, okay? This is how the presentation looks like. So it has this outer box in this way. So it says Intense Wood here, it's a 100ml Eau de Parfum and you can see the Fragrance World symbol here as well. And you get this box inside that, which gives the similar printing. The back has these basic details of ingredients. You see the Fragrance World brand symbol here and the batch code is July 2020. Okay, now that's about the presentation. Now coming to the bottle, the bottle is also pretty decent, looks really nice for the price. The friend says Intense Wood. And the sides have this wooden coin sort of a thing. So it's pretty thick. Unfortunately, when I received this bottle, one of the wooden coin shaped stuff was peeled off, maybe because of the heat. So these things are normal in budget brands. I've seen this happening even in designer brands as well. But usually designer brands don't give these fancy stuff. Okay, so that's why you may not see this happening quite often. But these things are ignorable, guys. So do not worry whether it is authentic just because this thing gets peeled off okay because that's a very silly way to judge authenticity so these are just glued so uh, it is normal that any glue for that matter can peel off if there is a lot of heat and that happens because of international transit which is obvious so don't worry too much in case you get these peeled off because there's a similar wooden ring on the cap as well initially this was all fine but due to usage because i keep using for testing and i've actually used it a bit so this also came off after like maybe one month of usage okay so these things are normal so don't worry too much about it so the back is pretty plain and it says oh perform 100 ml here the base has the sticker basic one and the sprayer is also not bad pretty decent sprayer has a good mist as well and spreads wide now coming to the scent now is this a clone of something which is a very common question when it comes to budget brands right now in my opinion i'm not very sure about whether this is a clone of any perfume but when i smelt it i could relate it to two different fragrances so one was the opening had similarities with ragba wood intense but less sugary and less spicy this one smells more refined than ragba wood intense now, in case you like that intense feel of Ragba Wood Intense, you might probably prefer that. But when I compared with Ragba Wood Intense, I like this more than Ragba Wood Intense from Latafa. Okay. Now, this one is named as Fragrance World Intense Wood. This is not Ragba Wood Intense. This is Intense Wood by Fragrance World. Now, the blend, like I said, you might feel similarities with Ragba Wood Intense in the opening but more refined, more richer than Ragba Wood Intense, in my opinion, okay, my personal opinion. Now, if you are a huge fan of Ragba Wood Intense, you might still find Latafa better than this one, but I personally like this one because this is more refined, more easier to wear, less onto the face where Ragba Wood Intense has that punchy character, so this one does not have that. This is more smooth, more refined. So when I say it is similar to Ragba Wood Intense, the notes are also kind of similar, has the nice spicy opening with cinnamon cloves, woody accord, less sugary than Ragba Wood Intense, a bit of that smoky woody character as well. And then in the base, as and when it dries down, you would get vanilla and amber to make it more creamier and smoother. So overall blend, 
I definitely like this more than Ragba Wood Intense. This is definitely more easier to wear than Latafa Ragba Wood Intense. If you remember my video on Latafa Ragba Wood Intense, I had clearly mentioned that that's a fragrance you should wear when you go out with guys, you have a campfire sort of setup because that's how it smells. It is a bit intense and overspraying that in indoors can annoy people around you. This one does not because as and when it dries down, when the vanilla and amber kicks in, to give it that nice creamy edge peeled off again okay i think i was pressing it too much so this is what i said i tried gluing it and now it is peeled off because when i was talking i just kept my finger and i think i was moving too rough so anyways ignorable like i said so anyways so this one does not have that like i said because of that creamy vanilla and amber in the base so this makes it more smooth you can wear it for indoors as well but it definitely has that middle eastern touch so in case you do not like middle eastern type of fragrance you may not like this one because in the dry down it goes into the direction of arabian oud kalimat okay i'm not talking about kalimat black i'm talking about arabian oud kalimat which is also a great fragrance from arabian oud but may not be as popular as Kalimat Black, which is generally hyped too much in the fragrance community, but doesn't mean that Kalimat is not up to the mark. Kalimat is also a great fragrance. There are good reviews of Kalimat as well. So this one has that dry down of Arabian Oud Kalimat. So overall, I wouldn't say this is a clone of Ragba Wood Intense, nor Arabian Oud Kalimat, but I'm just trying to help you understand as to how you can relate this fragrance so that you can decide whether to buy this or not. So in case you like the type of smell of Ragba Wood Intense, less spicier, less sugary, less smoky. This is what you get in the opening of this fragrance. And in the dry down, if you like Arabian Oud Kalimat, not Kalimat Black, then you will definitely like this fragrance. So overall, a beautiful fragrance. The performance is also great. The first two hours, it easily projects about two feet. And in the third and fourth hour, it still projects about one feet. Now, overall, that means it projects about four hours. Okay, that's a great performance for this sort of blend and this sort of pricing. And the last thing of this one was 9 to 10 hours on my skin. Now, if you wear it on clothes, I'm sure it will go 12, 13 hours plus. So performance, definitely great. And if I forgot to mention about the price, this costs around 1,700 to 1,800. Most of the fragrance world usually costs around that. Some even quote 2000. So see who can give you the best price. So I'll be giving the seller's details in the video description area. You check out what pricing he can give it. If you get it for a better price, definitely grab it. If you like this sort of blend. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in case you have tried this. Comment down in the comment section. See you next time soon. Keep sharing the videos. Cheers.